Hello everyone. This is uh, the next part in uh, Transport Fever 2 Megalomania. So last time uh, I did a whole bunch of uh, uh, line plumbing and uh, started out a, uh, a, a, a bow line from Fort Lauderdale up through here to Independence and then back over to Bellevue. Uh, okay, so uh, this uh, time out, I'm going to start out by plumbing in the local route here, and then I'll extend the track around. Okay, so uh, let's get the clock moving. Right. Uh, buildings, that's what I need. Uh, so I just need, I just need one station here, uh, right? So I'll uh, put a Dewey in. Okay. And obviously I'm going to tram it up. And then uh, where buy vehicles. Yes. Uh, right. So what, uh, what tram do I want to fling on here? Uh, well, the Petersburg one, obviously. Uh, I don't know that it's necessarily obvious, but a new line here and here. And we'll call this uh, Local South Bend uh, Crosstown. Right. So we have that. Now. Uh, how am I going to bring the uh, track over to Independence? Well, I could just bring it along here and then burrow through the mountain. Uh, or I could go through the, uh, the pass here. And I think that the... Uh, I think it'll look nicer if I go through the pass. It, it'll be a bit longer, but I think it'll be better. Uh, so, obviously, I need to run some tracks, and this road here is in the way. Uh, right, so, uh, right, so we got to go to the side of this mesa, so, let's see, well, that looks about right, hey, it's even level, what? That was annoying, uh, right, so we'll go in here. It'll be level, and we'll build it. Now, it won't do that weird thing. Okay. Uh, right, so where's the gap? It's over this way. Definitely be a lot shorter to, to uh, bore a tunnel through here. Come around this uh, mesa and face this way. Um, hmm. Well... Uh, well, first of all, let's get through here. Right. Uh, so now, what are you going to do? Through the, the gap or through the mountain? Well, it's not like you have 446 million. Uh, you can just bore through the mountain. Well, yeah, yeah, you could. Uh, yeah, if I'm going to do that, this road's in the way. Uh, you probably didn't need to bulldoze quite as much of that as you did. Yeah, I know. Uh, right, okay. I suppose you're going to go and put that road back now, aren't you? Yep. Right, so you just plumbed in a level crossing there. Yep, I did. Right, okay. Now, where do you want... Well, how is... How much is this going to cost if we just bash it through shade under four million that actually could work uh, although it might be more tunnel than it needs to be yeah I think it probably is well we'll we'll force it level and I think, 
How deep is it here? So if I take out some of this here... Oh, come on! Uh, maybe a cutting uh, up to about there might... Uh, let's see how egregious this is. Cutting. Okay, that's much more of a cut than I uh, than I thought it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, make a tunnel and just go a couple of uh, lengths in. Right. And we'll cut it there. Right. Yeah, okay, I think that's better. Uh, of course, futzing with that had, had exactly no purpose. So, you know. Right. Uh, so you've got a track through there. Now you need to come around this way. Uh, are you okay with that kind of a speed? Yeah, yeah, I think I am. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, that's definitely the right path. So, put the second track. Right. Nope, that's left. That's not what I meant. I know. So why'd you say that? Because. Oh, I see. Uh, well, we're, we're doing that, are we? I suppose maybe we are. Okay. So I need to plumb one of these things in. Uh, that'll probably do. While I'm at it. Uh, plumb one of these in. Yep. You know, those didn't line up. Yeah, I know. They don't need to. Oh, is that, is that why you're, you're just leaving it? Yep, that's exactly why. Okay, well, as long as you know what you're doing, well, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, it's autosave. Good for autosave. Okay. Uh, well, you're going to tram that up now, aren't you? Yep. Uh, I suppose you're going to fling a couple of those Petersburgs on here. Well, of course I am. It's going to be exactly a couple. Uh, okay, and this is independence. So it's going to be local, independence, crosstown. Okay. Uh, now... We need one of these with two tracks. Plumb it in that way. Right. Probably want to back that up a bit. Okay. Well, that's not so terrible. Right. Okay, so we have tracks coming in there. Good. Now, I need to get the road reconnected. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, maybe I'll just bring some tracks out here first. Then I'll reconnect the road. No, it's not under buildings. It's under streets. Okay. So we'll come across here. And then we'll come across here. I mean, why does it sometimes make a spline and sometimes just make a curve? I don't get it. Uh, anyway, that reconnects the road network, so we're good that way. Now, uh, coming up over here to Bellevue, I'm going to need another uh, track, which I already have. Okay. Uh, right. So I need to go up that way. So this will have to come down, around this way, and then in this way. Okay, I think we can do that. So I suppose you're just going to bring a track. You are. Yeah, yeah, I am. And I'm just going to do this. And then this. 
And you're just going to take that bridge, aren't you? Well, yeah, I think I am. Okay, and then now you need to uh, dual track this, you know. Yeah, and this is how I'm going to do that. Oh, that was clever. Yeah, I don't know so much about clever, but it works. Okay, can, can we get? Good. Now, we're aiming about that way. And we're going, we need maximum down bubble on that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got way more downhill here than I thought we did. Right. We're going to have to wiggle this, aren't we? Okay. Don't do anything there. Uh, let's just check something here. Can we just make it? Well, we can... With maximum down bubble, we can make it. Except for, we're going to have to, okay. Well, maximum down bubble it is. Uh, right. I guess we'll uh, keep on the, or do I want to do a viaduct? Let's do a viaduct. Yeah, let's do a viaduct. Okay, and then here. No, nope, we've got to come this way a bit. Still on maximum down bubble. And then here. That is possibly just a trifle too close. Okay, so we'll bring this up to here. And then bring this around here. Yeah, now we've got room for the second track. Okay. Right. Okay, so I'm going to demolish a few bits of this uh, once I have it built here and uh, turn it into embankments. Uh, right. Okay, come on. Okay, so what? Okay, there we go. Now, here we can get away with an embankment, I think up to about here okay uh, right so I gotta pick this up over to here yep we can definitely get away with an embankment there that okay and then up to this road crossing I'll do the same. Now, of course, you don't need to do this. I just think it's a little bit better with an embankment on the lower rises on the pillars. Uh, so there we go. We've got a, a viaduct across the uh, bit of a valley there. Well, that links up the uh, entire spur here. Uh, and that just means I need to... Uh, I need to connect this up here just for uh, uh, being able to fling trains on things I think if we double slip that okay so now I've got a whole bunch of stuff I need to put signals on and then fling trains on right okay so this is a main line which has no signals all the way up to where where did I start it ah over at Dallas right well that's gonna be fun uh, okay so I'm gonna fling some trains on on this stuff here but first I'm going to uh, I'm going to put the uh, the signals, at least put some, uh, let's see, and I'm doing that because I'm definitely going to have to fling a bunch of trains down here. 
And it'll be glorious having a bunch of trains tooling around on here. Or maybe it will just be a bunch of trains tooling around on here. Well, you can't it be both? I suppose maybe it could. Right. This is some long trainage here. Trainage? You're going with that, are you? Well, apparently I did. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, you've uh, found a station. Yeah, yeah, I have. And you're still plumbing in signals. Yeah, yeah, I am. You're not putting as many as you usually do. No, no, I'm not. Are you going to say anything other than yeah, yeah, I am, and no, no, I'm not? No, no, I'm not. That wasn't funny, man. No, no, it wasn't. You know, you really could just give that a rest. Yeah. Yeah, I really could. Anyways, this is just a trifle um, tedious, isn't it? Oh, that's okay, because once I uh, get all of these signals in, and I fling some trains up these lines, uh, we're going to ride one of them. Yeah, yeah, we're going to ride a train. Yeah, you're sure that that's a, a good idea then? Well, yeah, of course it is. It's riding a train. Okay, so here, and we need one of those there. Uh, right. Of course, we're going to ride the train just to make sure everything works and we don't have particularly egregious things going on. Egregious things going on. That never happens. No, I don't suppose it does. What's going on here? Oh, you've got to click the thing or it doesn't do anything. Really? Thought it just read my mind. Well, you do know that the telepathic protocol RFC was an April 1st one, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, it was. Who knew? Obviously the people that uh, wrote it. And you, because you just commented on it. Oh, yes, well, I suppose you might have a point there. Might I? Might I? Yeah, yeah, I guess you really do. In other news, the people making RFCs sometimes have a sense of humor. It was the telepathic extension for the Telnet protocol. And, yeah. It was option code 257, if I recall. And, of course, option codes in Telnet are 8 bits long. Now, if you think about that for a moment, you'll see what's wrong with option code 257. Naturally, uh, nobody really takes it seriously, but I know at least one Telnet implementation references that RFC, uh, rather tongue-in-cheek, which I guess is appropriate on account of it being an April 1st gag. Right, okay, we'll keep on going here. I think we're just about done with these. We're done enough with those. Okay, so we have enough signals on here that the trains can flow. Uh, yeah, so I need to find a depot. Uh, yeah. Thing is, the nearest depot is way too far away. So. What we're going to do is uh, fling a depot on over here. 
Are you now? Yep. Just fling a depot on. Uh, right. You could have turned that the other way, you know. Yep. Well, as long as you know. Okay. Why are you putting signals there? Eh, just because. I suppose that'll do. Right. So, what will this be? The, uh... This will be the... Uh... Fort Lauderdale main line, won't it? Uh, yeah, I suppose it will be. Okay, so now you're going to buy some trains, aren't you? Okay, so we have the Mogul, which does 75. Uh, that's the best we got, so we'll go with the Mogul. And Passengers. Now we have the Bolt, which does 60. Compartment. The Clear Story does 80. Right, so we're going with the clear story. Um, yeah, I think that's probably enough of those. Uh, right, so... Yeah. Yeah, we'll go one less. Okay, now what does this say? Yeah, that's probably okay. Uh, okay, so on this main line we have... One, two, three, four, five. We have five stops and a long way in between. So, one, two. I'm going to put eight of those on there, and I think three of them on the, uh, on the, the loop. Okay. So, if you're going to put 8 and 3, you need 11 of them. Well, that's only 57 million. You have 455. You should be good. Bye. 1, 2, 3. So, we'll put this on a new line that goes here, 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 and then back again. Yeah. And we're going to call this what? The Independence Loop? Nah, man. We're going to call it the South Bend Bend. Really? Well, of course. Okay. So this is going to be ICR South Bend Bend. You went with that. Well, yeah, why not? Um, that picked the wrong bloody platform. It's going to Bellevue. When it gets to Bellevue, it can't get to the right platform. Oh, for... Why the blazes is it doing that? Uh... Get yeah, what? 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 That doesn't make any bloody sense. There's clearly a bug. Yeah. Doesn't make any bloody sense. Okay, what if we do this? Well, that'll at least get things moving. What the? What? Does this not can? No, that that's a switch. 
the well I'm gonna take those out I don't get it that doesn't make any bloody sense whatsoever where's the other train oh it's over there okay it's gonna complain when it gets to the other end anyway man okay and then the other eight they're gonna go on a new line which will go here to here and here here and here and back again yeah and here right okay and what were we going to call this Fort Lauderdale Main Line. Nope, we're not. We're going to call it the Charlotte Main Line. Why Charlotte? Just because. Oh, okay. Right. Now, if we go over here. You know. I can probably put a cross over here. Uh, is that going to look terrible? Eh. Yeah, it is. But I can put a cross over there, which would potentially help. Bellevue, yeah. Uh, well, let's speed things up here. Uh, well, actually, let's not speed things up because I'm going to put a patch in here, which is going to look something like maybe this right okay so that should be able to get it to the right platform uh, okay where's the train okay it's coming along let's speed things up and see if it'll go over to the correct platform that would be good Okay, it's tooling along here. Tooling along. I wonder where that comes from. Tooling along. Eh, it probably doesn't come from anywhere particularly impressive. But anyway, what's this doing here? Okay, it went off in the right direction at least. Okay, I think I can take this out now. So there's something not quite right with pathfinding there. Right. Okay. Now it's going to independence. Okay. Yeah, well, at least that's uh, sensible. Okay. Well, that gets that plumbed in. Now let's just take a look around the map here a bit. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I want to bring a uh, link across probably to Fort Lauderdale across here from Torrance uh, and then I've got all this stuff over here to connect up so that'll be a couple more parts do dealing with that at least uh, but otherwise, I've just about got the whole map connected up passenger-wise. And that's probably where I'll end this series in favor, uh, or at least pause it, in favor of moving on to uh, a different challenge. 
Okay, so... Are we picking up enough passengers here? I, I don't think we are. Do I need to put more trams on here? I think I do. No. Duplicate. Yeah. Oh, we're already collecting passengers on the South Bend Bend line. Might need another train. No, no, I think I'm good on South Bend Bend. Yeah, okay, I think this this will uh, this will probably be good. Uh, yeah. And this one, 56. Yeah. Okay. Uh, manage vehicles. Uh, let's put a couple more on there. Uh, over here. Uh, again. Uh, we're going to need a couple more of those, I think. Uh, over here. South Bend looks like it's fine. Fort Lauderdale, we just did. Bellevue, we just did. Charlotte. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to need more there, too. Because we just uh, greatly increased the destinations available in, in all of these towns. Uh, so Omaha... Oh, come on. Get the station. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, manage vehicles. We're going to add... We're going to replace it with... Uh, we're going to replace it with Ivan. Why? Because we can. And Ivan loads fast. Uh, right, so how's this going to do? Uh, I suspect I need more than four of them, though. But you don't need eight. Nope. Okay. Uh, that will probably be enough there. Uh, Charlotte. No. We already did Charlotte, didn't we? Uh... Yeah, we did. Okay. And then over here to Dallas. Yeah, Dallas needs some... Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, manage vehicles. We're going to put six of them on there. Uh, that was random again, you know. Yep. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, how's McAllen doing? 525. Okay. And Long Beach. Uh, look at that grid, eh? Long Beach, 820. Yeah, that's not terrible. These uh, numbers will get a lot better when the uh, trains get faster. Uh, I'll, uh, at some point, want to be rejiggering a bunch of this stuff to have... Uh, uh, through line stopping services and some uh, express services when I have faster trains but that's uh, that's probably a operation for a revisit uh, 169 via Charlotte you know I think I might need more trains on this uh, main route here Manage vehicle. I'm going to put four more of those on there. And... Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is uh, hang out in here for a second. Or not. Oh, okay. Right. We're waiting for a uh, for trains to clear. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, let's hop on board this one, where we're parked inside another train, which is always amusing. 
Uh, makes for a great visual, doesn't it? Okay, and then we'll be heading out when that one clears. So, yeah. Uh, so that's all the fiddling around I'm going to do for this part, as it's uh, long enough as it is. Uh, next time around, I'll look at building a uh, bridge across the river at this end of this main line. And then uh, a few more parts plumbing together the towns on the other side of the map. And I think that's all the towns connected. And that'll probably be enough for this, uh, this operation here. Anyway, uh, let's just uh, sit back and uh, enjoy the ride here for a bit while I blather on inanely or something like that and uh, observe whether the uh, track looks half reasonable or or totally unreasonable. Uh, so far it doesn't look too bad although this little dipsy do here seems pointless. Uh, and uh, I think I've got things on fast forward here. Yeah, I do. Well let's put it back to proper speed. Uh, we're doing 50. Oh, we're going uphill here. Right, okay. Um, yeah. So we got the river to the side there, all of that. Yeah, I think uh, I think this, uh, this line here has worked out nicely. Uh, could be fun coming back later, uh, filling in details, uh, or, well, not details. I'm not the high detail type person where I fiddle with a map for uh, hours on end, placing trees and uh, buildings and all of that jazz. No. Uh, that is just tedious, and I wouldn't subject you guys to that either. Well, I would if I cared to make it, make a video like that, but no. Uh, that's not my thing, right? No, my thing is plumbing in these whacking great lines and flinging trains on them and seeing how well it works. Now, there's a couple things uh, that would be nice to see in future updates of the game. One is elevated stations. Oh look, it's autosave. Uh, elevated stations would be really, really, really nice. And that's elevated stations that are on like pillars or something, like a bridge. So that you could put it above towns and roads and stuff. Uh, basically, put a station on a viaduct. Uh, I, I'd really love to see that somewhere along the way. And underground stations would be really nice. Because there's some cases where it would be better to come in underground uh, and put the station underground just to keep the, the uh, elevations more sane. Uh, sometimes it would make it a lot easier just getting a, a station into an area if you didn't have to helix your way up a hill or something like that. Uh, I'd also love to see curved stations. We had those in uh, Transport Fever 1. Uh, curved stations were really, really helpful in a few uh, circumstances. Uh, so it'd be really nice to have those. Uh, though with the modular station design, I imagine that comes with a, a fairly impressive set of problems which needs solving, so yeah, we'll see. But there was an official Curved Stations mod in Transport Fever 1. So, Curved Stations, uh, Elevated and Underground Stations would all be nice. Apparently there's somebody working on a mod that does Underground Stations, so it's clearly possible, because he's got video of it. Uh, unless it's uh, faked video, in which case, yeah. But it'll, it'll be interesting to see. Like, the game's only been out for a month and a half, so... Yeah, it's uh, not surprising that these, these things haven't caught up yet. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, uh, sloped stations as well. Uh, as a slope on a station would be uh, uh, even a, a mixed slope, uh, so that the station isn't always on the same angle. Because I've had a few cases already where if the station could have been put on, say, uh, a 1% slope uh, even, or even a half a percent slope, uh, it would have fit in so much better. Uh, and yeah, it probably would have worked pretty well. So that would be nice. 
I think those those are probably more uh, more important for uh, gameplay than uh, most of the other stuff that I would like to have. Uh, I'd like to have some way to assign multiple uh, platforms to a line at any given station. Uh, I've had a couple of cases where train traffic's been busy enough on a line where uh, overlapping the arrival and dwell time with the dwell time and departure of another train uh, would uh, would improve throughput quite a bit and that would be uh, that would be nice I think you'd need to have some restrictions on that like maybe uh, maybe require uh, both platforms to uh, be the same physical platform so either side of one platform at the station or suffer a penalty for load time uh, when the uh, when the alternative platform is used. You know, the uh, train such and such to so and so will now be uh, loading on platform uh, B instead of platform 2 or something like that. And then you get the mad charge of people to get to the right platform. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, elevated and underground stations would be uh, far better. Uh, clearly, I need stronger trains. Uh, I've probably got too many uh, coaches on the uh, train here. I mean, we're carrying four passengers, so... Uh, but anyway, getting up the top of the hill here, it should... Uh, it should uh, start making better time. Uh, you know, Transport Fever 2, uh, the game looks nice. Uh, sure, there's some stuff with the graphics that could deal with uh, substantial improvements, uh, like the way some of the stuff renders, but like, look at that grass there. Uh, uh, I think there's far too many boulders, but that's uh, a different thing altogether, really. But this, uh, this actually looks quite nice with the... Uh, Mountains looming out of the uh, the haze in the distance, and all of that. Uh, yeah, it, it actually is doing pretty good. Uh, I loaded up uh, Transport Fever One the other day just uh, because I needed to check something, and it was a noticeable difference. Uh, even you know and. As much as I thought uh, bits of the uh, interface in Transport Fever 2 were less than ideal and not really an improvement, actually, I think they really are now. Uh, they've kind of grown on me. Yeah, there's our bridges. So, yeah, I think uh, at least this, uh, this leg is uh, sane. Oh, look, we got a train going. That on our tracks? It is. So yeah. Yeah, this is uh this well this approach is kinda nice. Station out in the middle of nowhere. Oh look at all the people waiting there at the bus stop. Tram stop. So yeah. Uh so there's Bellevue. Okay, yeah, I think this is uh, this is working. Uh, let's up the tempo to maximum here, and then uh, uh, ride out the uh, rest of the line here. Yeah, uh, heading for Charlotte now. Uh, right. Uh, you know, while I'm blathering inanely here. Oh, this cut is kind of neat, too. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah, I wondered about that. Uh, anyway, uh, while I'm blathering inanely, uh, I'm, uh, I, you know, tomorrow uh, should be uh, the next part in Surviving Mars. Friday should be the next part of uh, Megalomania here. Uh, I'm pondering starting up a City Skylines uh, series as well, and if I do that, I think I'll uh, I'll give it uh, one uh, one 
Uh, I'll probably run that one on, uh, say, Thursdays, and uh, Surviving Mars will, uh, will be on Tuesdays. Uh, I've also been thinking of starting up an Ostrov game. Uh, I'm not sure about that, though. Uh, but I've been uh, pondering the, the, the notion. Uh, I've got the, uh, the uh, alpha version of Ostrov. So uh, I've been pondering starting up uh, an, an Ostrov game. Uh, yeah, it's come a long way since the original uh, Alpha 1 releases. And, uh, yeah, uh, that, uh, that might be good. So if I do that, if I uh, bring in Skylines and Ostriv, then uh, I'll probably end up dropping back to uh, maybe one day a week for uh, Transport Fever uh, as well. So it'll be... Uh, or maybe maybe two days a week for transport fever. Uh, I'm not uh, completely sure on that, uh, because if I have surviving Mars and transport fever and city skylines and Ostrif, that's four games, right? Uh, and I don't want to do multiple uh, games per day. And I'm not sure I could uh, manage to make uh, videos for seven days a week, so. That's why I'm just doing Monday to Friday right now. Uh, so I think I'll probably end up, uh, if I do end up with uh, Ostrov in the mix, I'll probably end up dropping Transport Fever down to two days a week. Uh, anyway, if I do that, I'll, I'll let everyone know. Uh, but... For now, uh, I don't have anything concrete planned, so this week, definitely, uh, tomorrow is uh, Surviving Mars, Friday is the next part of this, and then Monday next week should be the, the next part of this again, and then Tuesday next week will be Surviving Mars again. Uh, I'm not sure how that Surviving Mars game is going to go, uh, but... Uh, hey, if I manage to make a hash of it and fail, then you guys can uh, all do a Nelson in the comments. Uh, uh, clearly, I'm not going to fail in this particular Transport Fever game, which is uh, one of the reasons I'm looking at uh, putting a pause on this series and starting another one. Uh, and with a smaller map, I think. So, yeah. A uh, smaller map uh, with water, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway. Okay, well, we made it to Dallas, so that line works. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, we've got an electric tra tram now, I think. Well, I'm going to uh, drop back to uh, normal time here. Uh, it's 1887, so we're going to start getting better uh, trains fairly quickly here uh, as the, uh, the calendar progresses, so that'll be good. Uh, so I'm just going to put this on here, and uh, I guess uh, that's, uh, that's all there is for, for this part. Uh, see everyone back for the next part, I guess. So that's all for now, folks.